Back here in Grand Forks alongside Douglas Wilson, our player of the game. I'm Tyler Merriam. Jackrabbit men, an impressive 94-83 win over the University of North Dakota. And uh, Douglas, I know you guys talk so much about defense as a team. But you guys shot 64% tonight. Uh, just describe what happened offensively that led to so much success. Um, really just, I think we got in a groove early in the game, um, honestly. Um, coming in, we knew that this team was going to be ready for us, and we knew that in order to win this game, we were going to have to score buckets and defend. Um, and tonight, we really just scored buckets. We really relied on our offense rather than our defense. First 15 minutes, it was back and forth, a lot of lead changes, some ties. But late in that half, that 9-0 run really changed the complexion of this game, don't you think? Yeah, we um, after um, in the locker room at halftime, we knew that we really had to lock in and go on a run because we knew these, this team wasn't going anywhere, especially on the home court. You know, once the fans got into it, we knew that um, it was just going to come down to them certain plays, and I think we just executed down the stretch. And speaking of that execution, 64%, 72 in the second half offensively is what people will look at. But two or three times, and they were trying to make that surge, you guys found a way to get a big stop. Yeah, the, um, these games like this, it's always going to come down to that one, one or two big stops. Um, and I think that we did a good job keeping our head and not letting, uh, not getting out of our playing style. And we knew that we was going to have to get those stops, and uh, we did it. You, did a good job. you tied a career high tonight, 31 points. At 31 out of Denver, 31 here. Uh, walk me through the relationship with you and your teammates, the unselfishness, because I know that's a big part of this is them setting you up for success. I love this. I love my teammates. Um, without them, they were, I wouldn't be doing it. But um, yeah, really, I was just, I'm just blessed enough to be around a lot of good guys, and they trust me. Um, and tonight, they did a really good job of finding me when I was open, because we knew that they was gonna um, really really focus on me and Big Matt. And um, I think our guards and wings just, just did a really good job of getting the ball to us when they had the chance. Did you put a little more on yourself when Dentlinger picked up those two early fouls? Uh, yeah, it's tough. It's tough when um, one of your big guys, one of the other big guys is in foul trouble. Uh, and I think we both do a good job uh, of that with each other. Even when I'm in foul trouble, he, he picks, up, picks up more work. And when he is, I do the same for him. Big win here tonight on the road in Grand Forks. And now you get to go back home. It's senior day for Brandon and Bo. It's uh, the final home game of the regular season. It's USD. And you did not get a chance to play against USD in Vermilion. How excited are you for Sunday? I'm um, really excited, especially um, just to see Bo and um, Brandon suit up one last time in Frost. Um, I know it's going to be a great environment. And really wanted to win it for those guys, honestly. Those are really good guys, and I'm going to miss them next year. All right, I have one more thing to ask you. Have you ever had an alley-oop that went off the board before you caught it to dunk it as Matt Dentlinger's toss to you went Larry late in the second half? <laughs> no, I never had one of those, but uh, Big Matt's a really good passer, and sometimes that happens, um, and I just caught it this time. I'm Tyler Merriam along with the head coach, Eric Henderson, to recap this 11-point victory, and uh, I am well aware of your thoughts on defense and how important <laughs> it is but you shot 72% in the second half, 64 for the game. I'm going to suggest that played a large role in this <laughs> victory tonight, Coach. Yes, yeah, certainly. You know, obviously we, we took good shots and made a lot of shots. We still played inside out, which is really important for our basketball team. We got a bunch of touches in there. Obviously they were trying to dig off Doug a little bit, but he was, he was super down low. But uh, when we can feed it to them that many times, and if they're not going to double, you know, that, that the percentages are going to go up. It, you know, they're not worth three, but, but two's enough. And, and uh, Doug was really special, but I also thought he shared the ball very, very well tonight as well. This was such a back and forth first 15 minutes, 12 lead changes, yeah. three ties. But you had that 9-0 run late in the first half that just changed the way this game was played the rest of the way. Yeah, it was a fun basketball game. You know, it was back and forth. Both teams were playing very, very, very well offensively. They were making some tough shots. We were making some tough shots. And you just challenge your guys to buckle in defensively and get some stops because we, we feel confident we'll continue to score. But... We, we needed to go on one of those runs to just stretch it out a little bit, to go into the locker room with a little bit of confidence. And our guys did, to their credit. So really proud of our guys' effort and a tough place to play. And in that second half, that stretch there from the eight-minute mark to the two-minute mark, 
both teams struggled to get stops, but they didn't get any. You only got a couple, but they were big ones. <laughs> yeah, a couple big ones. You know, I told them we just needed to make them miss a couple times and we'll be all right because we were getting the ball inside and we were scoring, pr you know, pretty effectively there. And Doug was an animal down there, but Noah would hit some big time shots in the second half. So felt good about that. But I just, you know, again, challenge them to, to get stops. And, and if we can do that, we can stretch this baby out and, and uh, t bring her home. And, and uh, to our guy, they did it. And really, really proud of them. Douglas Wilson, 31 points, tying his career high on 14 of 17, and he had offensive rebounds on two of those three misses. So you can't really be more efficient in a 31-point night than the uh, young man out of Des Moines, Iowa. Yeah, he's 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 special. Well, you know what else can you say, Tyler? He 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 plays so versatile on both ends of the floor. He can play out on the perimeter, and, and he's a mismatch out there, and he's a load on the block. And then defensively, he can guard so many different guys out on the floor. It's just, he's a weapon, there's no doubt. Noah Friedel finishes with 21, and for a freshman, 14th time in double figures, fifth time he's had more than 20, and one play that stands out, he got called for a foul on this, and he wasn't very happy about, came back down on the other end and hit a huge three-pointer. Yeah, sometimes you just got to keep your mouth shut, Tyler, and don't run anything and, and <laughs> let the kids play. And, and Noah's a gamer. Noah's a competitive kid. And, and you know, just talk to him about continuing to mature, continuing to, hey, don't worry about anything but just playing your tail off and competing like you know how. And, and when he does that, he's really, really special. And, and uh, he was really special in the second half. I'd be remiss if I didn't bring up Baylor Shireman's yeah, effort tonight. For sure. Three out of three from the field, five out of five from the line, 11 points, but he has four rebounds. He has a couple of assists, a steal, and two times in this game he gets near the rim and has physical finishes that one and one before media timeout was big. Oh, the one in the second half yeah. where it was an in one was just huge. He's – He's, he's, you know, can play inside out. We play him one through five, to be honest with you, Tyler. He plays a point guard at times and, and just is a tremendous passer. So when the ball's in his hands, you feel pretty good. And whether he's looking to score or looking to find other guys, you feel confident that the ball's in his hand and he's going to make the right play. And the development of your bench, Shireman, you throw Mims, Key in there as well. UND is such a starter-heavy team. You outscored the Fighting Hawks 19-0 in bench points. I thought Brandon came in and was tremendous defensively, and then he hits a big three as well, you know. And we need to continue to, to have Brandon impact the game like that. And Mimsy was huge in the, sec in the first half. We weren't shooting it very well. He comes in and bangs home our first three and got the lid off the basket a little bit for us. And, and uh, yeah, Baylor's tremendous as well. So I thought those guys in particular were just huge. And we're going to need all those guys, and Alou's going to need to be tough in there as well. We'll need him at times. So to be able to get those guys meaningful minutes in, in crunch time is huge for us. It sounds easy, but on the road, you miss your first five from deep, end up nine for 22, which means you close nine for 17. It's one thing to say, hey, keep shooting it, but – this crew really did do that tonight, and a big reason why you come out with a W. Yeah, when you take good shots, you know the percentages are go up. And, mm -hmm. and as you were well aware, earlier in the year, pre or you know that non-conference season, especially about the first 10 games, our shot selection was just okay, and our percentages were not very good. But once we started to finding our identity and taking good shots, you know, they're going to go. We understand that we have good shooters, and, and um, so it was a big part of us winning the basketball game tonight. North Dakota State wins in Vermilion tonight as well. What that means is you now have a three-game lead over USD with two to play because USD is in third place. Only one other team, NDSU, can catch you. That means you've locked in a top two seed in the Summit League Tournament. There's unfinished business still, but for a team that was picked in the middle of the pack in the preseason, for a team like you said that struggled to score at times in the non-conference to put up 90 points in league play for the fourth time, to be a top two seed in this Summit League Tournament, that must make you incredibly proud. Yeah, I'm so proud of our guys. And we don't talk a lot about it in the locker room, and it is it is what it is. We just try to look at our next opponent and see what the best way we can to beat that opponent is. And, and um, But when you reflect on things, and when we reflect on this later, you know, I'm, I'm really, really proud of our guys. And, 
we have unfinished business to do. You know, it's just one game at a time. I know Sunday's going to be one heck of an atmosphere, my friend. And let's talk about that. The South Dakota Showdown Series presented by South Dakota Corn as the Coyotes come uh, to Brookings. Douglas Wilson is excited because he didn't play in that first <laughs> meeting. Uh, in I'm Vermillion. excited that he's playing, too. I'll bet you are. You're a better <laughs> coach when he's on the floor, you know. Appreciate that, pal. Have you heard that before? <laughs> yeah, maybe once. <laughs> but when you talk about this SDSU and USD matchup, you got two teams that, boy, when they're clicking offensively, are as good as anybody in the league, and, uh, and they know what it's all about that's a big game for them and obviously on senior day for Brandon and Bo it's a big one for you absolutely to be able to uh, honor those two guys that means so much to our program is going to be very very special and to do it in in one of your rivalry games against South Dakota in the North in the South Dakota corn series you, that, that's tremendous opportunity for our guys and we're, we're just so happy to be able to get back to Frost Arena one more time baby for our loyal fans and we can't tell tell them enough how thankful we are and we can't wait to compete like crazy on Sunday. Hendo, congratulations on a road win at North Dakota, and we'll see you on Sunday. Appreciate you, buddy.